Welcome to In Focus. My name is Rob Miller, and today I'm here with Brian Williams of Trimble to talk a little bit about point cloud registration. Brian, as I think most contractors that deal in scanning realize, registration is that process of taking individual scans and combining them together. But what they might not realize is that there's different ways at which they can do registration. So if you would, talk to us a little bit about the different types of registration. Yes, Rob, I think, uh, as you put it, combining this data set together is an important step in the scanning process and then also getting to your deliverable. Without a contiguous point cloud, we don't have connectivity between the information. So it's important to understand that we have options when we go out into the field. So one of those options is target-based registration, whereby we place different types of targets, either flat targets or spherical targets around the, around the job site. Now when we uh, bring that into Trimble Realworks, Trimble Realworks can, with the press of the button, automatically extract those targets from the point cloud and it uses then the geometry for those point clouds to then, uh, from those targets, to lock the point cloud together. So that's target-based registration. It's one that has been commonly used right from the beginning of 3D scanning process. Okay, and the spherical targets are good because I can see them from different directions, which is important. The checkered or the paper targets are good because I can put them all over the place, although I might not see as many targets, um, or many of those targets from the scans. But I can do both spheres and checkered targets at the same time in this registration, right? That's correct. Trimble Realworks is smart enough to be able to figure out the difference between a flat target and a spherical target. I would say the flat targets are great, especially if you want to be able to shoot with, your, say, your total station, the uh, center of the target to then um, put it on a coordinate system. The spherical targets are great because we can place those on beams or pipes around. And as you said, you can see these from all angles, whereas the flat targets sometimes get hidden behind objects. Okay, so you've done this enough, and so have I, that it's happened. You go out into the field and you realize you don't have any targets with you. Obviously, we're not dead in the water at that point. So tell us, how do we do registration if we don't use targets? Yeah, so we have a couple of other options that we can use. One of those is uh, what we call targetless-based uh, registration or plane-based registration. So what Trimble Realworks does is it looks for vertical surfaces around the job site and extracts uh, and creates planes. And we use that geometry then to stitch the point cloud together. Okay, now do those planes have to be large areas like walls? I mean, what if I'm on an open deck, skin is not on a building yet? Can it use the face of steel and create planes from that as well? Yeah, it doesn't need a large area. Uh, what's important is that there's some overlap in between the point clouds and it can extract a small plane to be able to do this process. Okay, so if I'm in more of a greenfield site, I don't have a lot of structures or walls around, how do I do registration in that case? So that's when we come back to a common method that's been around for quite some time, and that's cloud-based registration. Now in the past, uh, we would use the overlap in the point cloud, we'd pick out three common points, and then the software would go ahead and start to stitch it together. Today we've automated that process whereby we just click a button, Trimble Realworks will then look at the overlap in the point clouds and decide what's a good fit between the point clouds and then start to put the, uh, all of this together for us. Okay, so we have these different methods. Do we get different results or are there any differences in kind of the output of these? Yeah, I would say there are different methods, like uh, any job, uh, job site process you have the options and flexibility with these uh, different types of registration process. But in the end, what you get is a quality control report out of each registration process. It gives you then the option to evaluate that and decide that's the right one for me for this type of job. I think that's really important. You finish that, you get the report, and you know exactly how good that registration is because the last thing you want is a bad registration and then start modeling from it and send that out to a design team. Absolutely. If we put the data set together uh, in a bad way, we're going to get bad results in the end. So it's important that we know exactly 
how well things are aligned so that we have confidence moving forward in producing uh, top end deliverables. So Brian, thanks for taking time this week to join us and do some videos on laser scanning. You're welcome, Rob. If you would like to learn more about point cloud registration with Trimble RealWorks, contact your local Building Point representative. And be sure to connect with us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. From all of us here at Building Point, thanks for watching. <laughs>